Leviticus chapter 15. It deals with bodily discharges of both men and women. Listen to verses 1 through 3. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When any man has a discharge from his body, his discharge is unclean. And this shall be his uncleanliness in regard to his discharge, whether his body runs with his discharge or it's stopped up by his discharge. It is his uncleanliness. Wow, those are kind of awkward passages. Of course, this is dealing with something abnormal, connected to infection, connected to disease, or to blood. It's kind of the CDC, the Center for Disease Control of the Old Testament. God is setting boundaries of protection, guidelines, if you will, for purity, for health and cleanliness. And he gives very detailed ways for this cleansing to occur after the discharge. One, bathing. Number two, setting apart or quarantine, blood. There's all kinds of spiritual pictures in scripture with water and bathing. It's like the cleansing with the water of the word. Being set apart in the New Testament is separated from fellowship. It's kind of a discipline and a protection. And then there's the innocent blood sacrifice, a substitute to pay for, well, for our guilt, for our sin. So Leviticus 15, the spiritual CDC of the Old Testament. God always uses a clean vessel. And Leviticus 15 is a great reminder of God's desire to make us clean, to make us pure, and to make us usable. Awkward passage in some ways, but it's God reinforcing the fact that he's into cleanliness, he's into purity. God's into that which can be usable in his hands. And he always, always chooses a clean, pure vessel. And he reminds us of that in Leviticus 15, and then he fulfills it again in the New Testament as we're cleansed by his word, we're set apart sometime for correction and chastisement, and we're also made clean by the blood of Jesus Christ.